I will begin before going uh, into analyze. In fact, I will show you uh, two of the areas that are uh, used across the, the whole platform. One is the apps market. Uh, then we talk about this um, apps market and we will show you some of these apps. But remember that you can create your own apps to define your own roadmap for anything you need. And the other part I want to show you is the settings that are now shared between Dexma Analyze and Dexma Detect. Okay, Here is where you can define this hierarchy, uh, locations hierarchy, or the supplies and prices, gateways, all the stuff uh, regarding to settings. And I want to show you how uh, our gateways area looks like now because it is increasing every day and how this Sigfox has been uh, added uh, recently. As you can see, lots of manufacturers, uh, lots of hardware vendors, lots of different platforms that are already integrated, like also other standard protocols like FTP, SFTP, email allows you to send files coming from different, um, from different systems, different platforms. And also, if you know, you can uh, start sending uh, data through our insertion API right to this uh, virtual gateway. And that's often how companies who have data lakes, for example, would yeah. be inserting their data. Right. So now it's time to go to analyze. This is where uh, analyze always land is in our dashboard. And you may know that uh, Dexma always work in this hierarchy level, aggregating all the uh, consumptions uh, in the hierarchy level that you are uh, now. But now I don't want to uh, show you uh, feature per feature. I want to talk about one uh, specific building that we have recently added to our demo, and it is the Stuttgart one. Stuttgart, it's, yeah. it's really cold there. <laughs> Isn't it, Mio? Right. Yes, I live very close to there, and yes, it's quite cold. Right? It's quite cold. <laughs> if we take a look in the consumption screen, we can have that this building have a uh, symmetry for sure. Well, here we see this second There's a problem. Floor. Yeah. Yeah, this is over consuming and weekend, I think. Mm -hmm. But well, I want to focus on the overall consumption, in fact, and how this main consumption is compared with the fiscal meter. In green, we have the building consumption. Okay. So these are supposed to be the same lines. Yes. Well, in fact, it's the, the, the usual is that main consumption or the, the consumption from the building is always, uh, that energy is always imported from the grid. Mm -hmm. But in this case, we are seeing that uh, fiscal meter is, uh, fiscal meter energy is lower than the uh, building consumption. Which and, is weird. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it, has a, it, it has a reason, of course, you may imagine it, and it is because this uh, building has a solar plant, okay? And I want to show you how this building performs in terms of photovoltaics also. So if we take a look on the solar plant during this year, so far this year, we can see that despite the building had some production, uh, well, uh, until March, in during this month, the production in the solar plant was increased from 190 to an average of, uh, well, uh, up to 700 kilowatt uh, power. This is huge. Yeah, it is a great commitment with photovoltaics because um, in Stuttgart, they want to become a nearly zero energy building. Okay. okay? And this is why, uh, despite the production was good, uh, they have uh, expanded this solar plant uh, with a huge investment, of course, to save the more energy possible and to save, of course, uh, costs now and also in the future. Mm -hmm. Regarding to costs, if we go to the cost screen, we can see that thing I was telling you about, that is, if we check, for instance, last seven days, well, last seven days is what we are seeing right now, but we can see like, uh, 
in daylight hours, there is no cost. Here we see on Friday, we can see also here in the weekend that the cost has lowered down compared to the cost we have if we check the main consumption. So the idea is, of course, that during the daylight, this energy cost is, uh, well, we have lots of, uh, of savings, right? Mm -hmm. So, okay, what if we want to focus just in this cost or in the energy we are consuming? If so, we can go to create an alert, for instance, to report our, uh, our team or our customers if the cost exceeds a threshold or the consumption or even if we have no data for sure this is because of hardware fails yeah right? hardware fails well uh i like hardware also i want the the data from all the hardware in your building so that we can uh analyze in real time so this is how we can manage uh the alerts and we can alert our customers or our uh, team about the performance in our building but of course we want to go further in this yeah analysis. exactly Alfonso. so could you show us how is the net zero energy building performing yeah sure the idea is to use this energy uh, this nearly zero energy buildings app is to show you the energy balance of your buildings okay if we go to february that is before the solar plant expansion, we can see how this building has a good um, a good generation, a good production in, in green. But if you take a look in the consumption and the loads, it is much higher. So despite it has a good production, uh, it can cover uh, the consumption of the building. The solar panel wasn't sized properly for the load, I guess, in this case. Yeah, right? sure. Yeah. And for sure, to cover that consumption, we have to import a lot of energy from the grid. And that's uh, the energy that is built to us, okay? Now we can compare it with April, that is after that solar plant expansion. And now we can, well, I will disable for a moment the grid, and you now can see how this production is huge, in fact, is bigger than the consumption uh, most of the day, but for sure, uh, as the sun is not always available, we have, <laughs> we have clouds, right? Yeah, <laughs> we have to, to to continue importing some uh, some energy from the grid. But all this exceed energy is also exported to the grid, as you can see in yellow. So mm -hmm. it's that energy balance that uh, this ener uh, nearly zero energy building uh, has. And this app allows you to compare really and to have an overall idea of uh, how the yeah, building actually, is performing. This 66 self-consumption ratio is really nice. Yeah. It's really good. It sounds really, really good. And also it allows you to see in the Sankey chart uh, that most of the load is being covered by the production, by the solar plant, okay? What if we want to continue? This uh, nearly general energy buildings app has also a storage area, but it's not the case of this building. But if so, you can even export this uh, energy. Instead to export it to the grid, you could uh, charge uh, a battery, for instance, and then discharge it at the night. So really um, powerful tools to analyze your uh, building, okay? So we've seen why this building uh, has uh, so uh, low energy, but now we want to focus on the savings because when you invest that amount of money in a solar plant, you want to be sure that the savings are the right ones. So now we want to focus on that measuring and verification area of uh, DEXMA Analyze, okay? If you are a company investing, you will for sure uh, ask to uh, NESCO, uh, an energy services company, to perform a MMV project. Dexmanalyze uh, is uh, compatible with IPMVP protocol. 
and I want to show you how this mission and verification module looks like. Here you can see the reference uh, consumption, the baseline consumption, that is the consumption that the building may have had if those energy performance measures uh, uh, haven't uh, car uh, been carried out, right? But if you have ever created a baseline, you may know it's really, it's hard. really hard. It's really, really difficult, okay? And it requires a lot of time. So that's why Dexma uh, created the automatic baseline calculator, okay? Uh, with this tool, you will see how easy creating a baseline is. Automatically, as we are on the Stuttgart hierarchy level, it detects the devices that are available. And if I select the fiscal meter as the target device, and automatically the software uh, um, uses its weather uh, information to create this baseline. I will uh, select the uh, daily Sorry, I have a problem with this. Uh, with this call, I don't know why. If you um, select to calculate the baseline, you will see now, sorry, you will see how it changes between a monthly frequency or a daily one so that you can start creating your own baseline automatically. So now, Alfonso, you have calculated a daily, a daily baseline for the last year. Yes. In fact, if you see here, you have the reference period last year. All the energy that we have been monitoring through the years is used to calculate this uh, formula. And let's say you have three years of historical data. You could use all three years, yes, right, as your sure. reference period. Okay. For sure. And also, this is the formula that DEXMA is, uh, is giving you. But there's a couple what of... if you have a better one? What if you are an expert in terms of defining baselines? That is a hard tool, but you can for sure also use your own baseline to evaluate which is which is better or just iterate it uh, to a better one, mm -hmm. okay? Or maybe you could use rounder numbers, for example. You might not want to use numbers with yeah, six decimals. make decimal. it simpler. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> maybe some of the variables has a huge cost to, mm -hmm. to get the data, so you don't mm -hmm. want to use it. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a tool for you to improve your baselines. And, well, you've seen how easy it is to create one. Okay, so let's focus now on the savings. This project had a target, a savings target of about 40%. It's a lot, but, well we are just getting 34%. It's a, a good amount of, of savings, but it's not uh, over the target. Mm -hmm. Why? Just because the delay of the solar plant. This mm -hmm. project was uh, starting the 1st of January, but uh, as you've seen, the solar plant was expanded on uh, the 26th of March, more or less, more or less here. And you can see now how the savings are increasing uh, in the time. Mm -hmm. So despite in certain points, you can see uh, that the savings are about 40% and more even, the accumulated savings are on about 33%. Mm -hmm. And that's because of the delays. Yeah, just because of the delays, all this area is now a problem. But yeah. if we continue saving, maybe we will arrive to that 40% yeah. at the end of the year. Mm, it, it seems difficult to arrive. And, well, and that's a really good visual to see. If you showed that to your customer and said, look, this is the reason why, you could pinpoint exactly where exactly. your solar panels have or, been upgraded. Or even sharing that through a report. Yeah, absolutely. You said reports? Okay, <laughs> let's go to the reports. Because that's how... And another of the tools you have to uh, share the information in Dexma Allies. We have lots of different templates uh, that you can use, like the uh, billing, uh, electricity bills, etc. But now we want to show you those custom reports, the ones that you can customize by your own and create exactly 
the report you want to share with your team or your customers. And, and if anyone who's listening is interested in knowing more about how to make a custom report, we have a webinar specifically on this yeah. topic. So sure. go have a look at our website or email us and we'll let you know where that is. So this is what you can create by your own and uh, define exactly the way you want. It's fully customized. And to end, I want to show you those dashboards again because I want to show you another app that is the Synaptic one. Synaptic app is uh, that uh, customized view of your building that you want to share with your oh, wow. team to see data in real time working in a um, fully customizable uh, uh, dashboard. So, so it's like placing your data points there, right? So your variables. Right. Okay. Uh, you have here all the subconsumptions, weather information in real time, uh, fiscal meters, or even all the energy balance we've seen on the Nearly Zero Energy Buildings app. You can it can be shown also here. So, Dexmanalyze is the tool you need to get all your data in real time, define the savings, verify the savings, and also share all the uh, all that information with your customers, your team, and keep improving your your buildings. And that's everything I wanted to show you. And yeah, just like a recap, uh, Dexma analysis ends up ready, right? Yep. Uh, you can create it. You can actually configure the deploy in Mio in bulk. Mm -hmm. So that means that you don't have to spend too much time going yeah. form by form creating mm -hmm. your. You just need to import an Excel spreadsheet, and everything will be configured. No, no thousand clicks to try and no get thousand. through hundreds of locations. <laughs> exactly, fun. and and even to maintain those yeah. projects, right? Yeah. Because those are multi-year projects, so they change a long mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. So you have to maintain, and you have to use this feature. Mm -hmm. Of course, we are uh, hardware agnostic. We talk about Sigfox, uh, the AI powered tools like the baseline calculation that Alfonso has shown before. This is based on real artificial intelligence. It's not just words. It's we not we just use words. it. We have an actual data science team exactly. to back up what we're saying. We invest on that. We believe on that. <laughs> yeah. To make energy intelligent. Yeah. We have shown the new user interface. We have talked a lot about electricity and import, export, but uh, the Exmo Analyze it's capable to manage energy in 11 different energy sources. Mm -hmm. That means not just electricity, but gas, water, thermal, everything, yep. right? And even we have a list of more than 200 different parameters. And if you want to monitor something that it's not there, you just ask and we add. Yep, you ask and we add. Exactly. Okay. Then we have more than 33 apps available and the API, mm -hmm. really important, uh, report templates and real-time alerts and limited users and historical data. This is so important because we believe that people changes the world. Mm -hmm. So we need to deliver uh, tools to people. That's why we don't charge per user. So you have unlimited user. You can create as many users as you need. And we want to we want to make sure that our partners, customers are engaged as exactly. well. So we want to give them as much uh, of an ability to be able to do that too. And then again, Dexma Analyze, it's unificated inside the whole Dexma experience, the tech analyze and control. Mm -hmm. And just as a final recap, the three steps towards the energy efficiency with Dexma, that's why it is a unique platform because it allows you the first step of detecting potential savings, second step of analyzing those savings and verifying savings, and then step three is to control your building.